Melissa Harris and I have gastroparesis uh, complications due to diabetes. I recently had a gastro pacemaker placed in me to control uh, the gastroparesis because with gastroparesis it made me vomit from 30 to 40 tons a day. I wasn't able to eat. I had to be get a uh, G tube where I was fed through the tube. I lost about 140 pounds in about a couple of months, and then I got the after a year I finally got the gastro pacemaker, and I have not been throwing up. I'm able to eat regular food again, and I'm able to get back to a normal life. I'm Dr. John Sabra, a general surgeon here in Austin, Texas, and today I'm demonstrating a new device that I've been implanting in patients to help them with severe nausea and vomiting, a condition known as gastroparesis. And gastroparesis is a terrible condition that can severely alter patients' lifestyles to the point where they're vomiting 10 to 12 times a day, aren't able to go out to restaurants or even eat with their families. This device is a pacemaker, uh, which when implanted can alter the neurologic function of the stomach. Uh, and limit the nausea and vomiting and get patients back to a more normal lifestyle. Uh, so far I've implanted 12 of these here in Austin at the University Medical Center at Brackenridge and I've been very happy with the results uh, the way that this has helped my patients. I'm going to make an incision here uh, in the patient's abdomen. The pacemaker will sit underneath the skin obviously right here and then I make it will be a separate either one more incision here or if I do it laparoscopically with the video surgery smaller incisions and then these leads so this is where the energy is coming out, right through at the end here. These leads go inside the abdomen into the stomach itself. And then the pacemaker is just under the skin, but those leads go into the abdomen, into the stomach. Because usually, heavy things just weigh on me, you know. Considering what I used to love, which I missed while I was sick, was a big juicy stick. <laughs>